Pachyderm Labs, from Pachyderm Consulting. Hi, this is Steve Boxer talking to you from Pachyderm Labs, New York City. Today I want to talk to you about a product called TuneUp that I discovered when I was browsing around the National Public Radio webpage. While I thought I was immune to the sort of paid promotions that were on the site, I'm really glad I paid attention to this one because this is a product that more or less costs peanuts and will really improve your life in a small and meaningful way. So let's talk about the problem that TuneUp aims to fix. Well, specifically, it has to do with cleaning up your music collection. If you're like me and pretty much everybody else I know, you've got an iPod, uh, probably a mobile phone that has music on it, and of course your computer. You may have a lot of music in the cloud as well. Well, the problem is, is that music was accumulated over years. Some of it was ripped from DVDs, excuse me, CDs. Some of it uh, came to you as a gift on a thumb drive. Some of it, who knows where it came from. The reality is, is that when all that music was copied, people didn't use the same way to label and tag the music. And the net result is a really, really messed up music collection that, at least in my case, detracts from my enjoyment of listening to the music. For example, you'll have albums where the song list is out of order. You'll have, you know, collections where Beatles is spelled uh, four different ways with different capitalization. You'll have albums that no longer uh, have the correct songs inside of them. And of course, the one that everyone has uh, this, the problem that everybody has, album art, that is absolutely crazy. And if you're anything like me, you like to have the right album art uh, along with your music. So over the years, I've tried a bunch of different products to try to fix this problem because it's certainly nothing new. Um, of course, I've used iTunes' built-in um, album art downloader, which gets it right better than half the time, but sometimes you get some really crazy results. I've used things like ToeTag, which is a freeware tool to correct um, the tags and the metadata for MP3s. And the reality was I've got a really big bollocks up music collection. So when I saw TuneUp, I figured that's something that I'm willing to try. So TuneUp is actually a collection of three really useful products and um, one that isn't useful at all. There's uh, Cleanup, which looks at your music collection and fixes things like um, having mislabeled music, having Neil Young spelled two or three different ways. Uh, it really does a fine job of cleaning up the tags and the labels. Then there's an album art downloader, which I have to say uh, did a fantastic job of fixing up my album art. And then there's Deduper, which does what it says it's going to do if you've got 14 copies of um, After the Gold Rush or Cinnamon Girl. Uh, it does a fantastic job of not only removing those duplicates, but uh, allowing you to roll back your changes in case uh, there was a mistake. And the last tool, I mentioned that there were four tools. One is called Tuniverse, uh, which I guess is supposed to tell you when your favorite band has got a new album out or uh, is going to be in town so you can see them. Really not something that applies to me. Well, let's actually do a hands-on. Let's take a look at my music collection before and after tune-up. We'll look a little bit at how it works, and then we'll recap after that uh, with my final impressions. Here's a small part of my music collection. You can see there was a missing album cover there. Uh, this Who album doesn't have an album cover. And Handel's Messiah, that's a mess.
So I am ready to clean. I'm going to click on the Analyze button and then Analyze again. And this is where it does its magic. So it's just wrapping up its analysis. And we're going to go and take a look and see what it found. It separates in between matches, near matches, misses. Well, this is really promising. It got a lot of stuff that other programs usually miss. Well, that's impressive. It got the Who album cover, and the same thing with the Latin music. And Mana did a great job on Handel's Messiah. So that was pretty impressive, how TuneUp was able to fix up those albums, get my album art correct, and really manage the duplicates. A few final thoughts about TuneUp. Well, TuneUp says that it works automagically. And the truth of the matter is, is that I don't know exactly how it does work. I believe uh, the secret sauce is that TuneUp will play a few seconds of every song to itself um, and then look up in its internal databases the correct tags. And once you get all the tags perfect, then everything else flows correctly. For example, the order of albums, the right names of songs, the genres, and of course the album art. I also like that pretty much everything that it does is reversible. Well, $50 is not nothing, as they say. Um, it's $40 for an annual license or $50 for a perpetual license. The reality of the matter is, for something that cleans up something that I look at every single day, multiple times a day, and would frequently notice how um, things were askew, $50 doesn't seem like a, a huge amount of money to take care of that problem. Uh, the final thought about TuneUp is that I find the interface to be not as intuitive or clear as uh, the manufacturer claims, but really that's okay. The bottom line is, is that at the end of the day, my music collection is cleaner, I'm happier, and uh, I'm enjoying rocking out to Neil Young just a little bit more. So that's Steve Boxer from Pachyderm Labs, hoping that you give TuneUp a try and enjoy your music collection a little bit more.